or Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praises, all glory, and all honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakodash. All right, double honest to my apostles and my elders at a great millstone who were well. And peace and salutations to all you I came out there preaching this truth throughout the four corners of the earth with truth and sincerity in your hearts and for the love of the gospel. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, give me one second. I'm the brother Shamar Yah, uh, coming to you with another lesson coming out. Uh, I am from the Great Millstone Branch, Gary, Indiana. And this uh, today's lesson is going to be about um, revelations. Well, it's not going to be about revelations, but it's going to be about uh, watchmen, you know, the watchmen. You know, the Lord has set up the prophets, you know, for to be watchmen. You know, watchmen of prophecy, you know, and then to, to declare it unto the people. All right. It says that in various, various scriptures that I'm going to get. Um, first one, I, I mean, the first scripture that was on my mind was uh, I only had really had two scriptures on my mind. And then from there, I'm going to go into the spirit, whatever the spirit gets, the spirit gets. Um we we'll get started in this Revelations. It's Revelations uh, 3 and 3. But I'll start at 1. It says, Revelations 3 and 1. Unto the angel of the church of Sardis, write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of Yahweh and the seven stars. I know thine works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and are dead, and are dead to the world. Uh, let me start from the top. It says the seven, the seven spirits of Yahweh and the seven stars. All right, the seven spirits of Yahweh and the seven stars of the seven churches. All right. Um, pertaining to the seven churches that he was writing to. And this particular one, um, Sardis. All right. It says, I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou live, uh, that thou livest and are dead. You know, because we, we remain dead to this world, man. But we're quickened through the spirit. We live through the spirit, but we're dead to this world. All right. It says... Be um, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I, for I have not found thy works perfect before Yahweh. All right, because it says uh, the precept to that is uh, our righteousness is filthy as rags. All right. He said, I have not found thy works perfect with Yahweh. You know, strengthen those things that remain is the truth. You know, strengthen those things. That remain is is the uh, the light that we have, you know. That are ready to die, because this world means nothing to us, man. All right, it says, uh, but remember thou, remember therefore thou had, remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast, and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come upon thee as a thief, and that's the point of the lesson. You gotta be watchmen. All right, you gotta be watchmen, man. Um, Give me one second while I look for the scripture. Oh, my fucking computer. Rags. Sixty. This is Isaiah sixty-four and six. I'm getting another app. Isaiah 64 and 6, but we are all as unclean thing, and all our righteousness is, are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. So basically our righteousness is filthy as rags, so our work is never done. You know, your, your work is only done when you when you die in this truth. All right, that's when your work is done. So in, in long as you have breath in your lungs and strength in your body, you're supposed to prophesy, man. You're supposed to be give a warning to the people. You know, supposed to prophesy uh, the prophecies, tell the people the news, you know, the good news and the bad news. All right. Together. So it says, remember, therefore. That thou hast received and heard and hold fast, receive the truth. All right. And hold fast means to, to, to don't let go. Hold fast means to uh, brace yourself, you know, brace the, embrace the truth. 
you know, hold fast. When you uh, think about holding fast, when I think about holding fast, I think of a, a quarter, uh, not a quarterback, but a NFL player. You know, when he holds fast, he holds that ball for dear life and try not, he tries his best not to let it go, even if he do get hit, you know. It says, and repent. You know, repenting is also a good part, of, a big part of this faith, man, because we, we, we all know our righteousness is filthy as rags. I just pulled it, Isaiah 64 and, and, and 4, Isaiah 64 and 6. All right, so we have to repent and ask the Lord for forgiveness every day, you know. So that we may be cleansed of our sins. If therefore thou hast not watched, I will come upon thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Why? Because when the, the thief comes, the thief comes when you least expect it. No thief is going to come when you're expecting him. He's not going to give you a notice of when he's going to break into your house because you're going to watch. You're going to be watching for him. If he, if you knew when he was coming, and that thief, all right, is Yahweh Shai when he visits the earth. But, you know, the, uh, even he, even he doesn't even know when he's going to come back, man, because he said um, all those things that I revealed unto you, you know, I, I, I find you no more servants, but friends for all that the Lord has revealed unto me, I revealed unto you. Uh, no, it's another one that says no man knoweth the hour. Matthew 24 and 26. The scripture says, No man knoweth the hour when the Father cometh. Matthew 24 and 36. It's uh, 35. It says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of of that day and the hour of no man know not the angels of heaven but my father only you know so no man knoweth when the lord's coming back man only the father the scripture says uh i find thee no more servants it's like no more but friends No more servants. Let me see. No servants, friends. Fifteen, fifteen. This is uh, John fifteen, fifteen. It says, "Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his lord doeth, but I call you friends, for all things that are that had have, that I have heard of my father, I have known, I have made known unto you." It says, "Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, ordained you." that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit shall should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the father in my name he may give it you so back to the first says i'll call you no more servants but friends it says but i have uh but friends for all things that i have heard of my father i've made known unto you so it shows you that the lord himself don't even know the day he's going to come so it's going to come as a thief but if you're watching you know watching what watching prophecy Watching prophecy, it's not going to come as a thief, man. Um, jump into, I think, uh, is it nine? Second Ezra is nine. The scripture says, uh, Second Ezra is nine and one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before. All right, it says measure the time diligently. Well, how do you how do you measure time? You know a season you in because the prophecies that come to pass, and we all know that the uh, the prophecy. Let's going to go into it. Prophecies come to pass to let you know how close you are to the end. All right, so we know that we're at the end because we're seeing certain things that the Lord had already said to look for before he, but we know before time. And we measure the time diligently in itself because you measure prophecy. You measure time when the Lord's coming back with prophecy. Verse 2. 
Then shalt thou understand that it is this very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right. So then you'll understand that it is the time that the Lord is going to begin the highest, which is who the most high, the father, you know, through his son, he's going to visit the world which he made. Verse three, therefore, when thou shalt be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. See, now that's a prophecy. Therefore, when there shall be seen. So if you look at the world news right now, you see uproars of the people. You see uh, economies are collapsing. You see people are being um, up uprising against their governments. All right. You saw it in America. You saw it in America on a very small scale, but you still saw it. You know, you see it in Haiti. You saw it in Ecuador. You saw it in Venezuela. You know, you see people rising up against their government, you know, uproars of the people. You saw it in um, during the during the riots of 2020, you know, in the in the Americas, man, you know, all through the major cities of America. You saw the riots, you know, they were protests. They was they would call themselves protesting. And then uh, it would be so many people. You saw you start seeing people crashing into windows, uh, well, windows being crashed in people looting stores. All right, that's the uprising of that's the uproars of the people. All right, it says in earthquakes in diverse places. You see that all the time, man. Everywhere, diverse means everywhere. You know, up uh, earthquakes are happening everywhere. Verse four. Then shalt thou well understand. See, well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. See, the Lord already told us these things are going to happen. All right. For like as is all is made in the world, hath the beginning and the end, the end is manifest. So now we can see how close we are to the end. All right. We can see these things. We can see the uh, rumors of uh, rumors of war. It says, even so, the times of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and, and powerful, powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And every one that shall be saved. Oh, this is a uh, let's go into a couple of a couple of those prophecies, man. I believe it's in the 24th chapter of Matthews, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, I'm going to start at, um, I'm just get to the point, I'm going to start at verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer them, I'm going to start at 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came unto him priv privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, that shall be the sign thy, of thine coming, in the end of the world. See, the end of this world. See, they, they, they were looking for signs. Like, how do we know you're going to come back? What, what, what do we watch for? Verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. I am Mashiach. And shall deceive many. You know, false prophets. It says, And ye shall hear of, hear of wars and rumors of war. See, the whole world is at war right now, man. You know, just watch the world news. You'll see that a lot of countries are at war with each other right now. At first, it started off as rumors and warnings and threats and sanctions, but now it's full blown war. All right. It says, Wars and rumors of war, see that ye be not troubled, for all things, all these things must come to pass, but at the end, it is not yet. See, it's not yet, so we have more to go. For a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places so famines we are already uh, witnessing a, a, a nationwide food shortage here in america and all over the world a nation is a, it's a worldwide food shortage man whether it be man-made or not it's all prophecy you no know, no matter who caused it the lord is the one who caused it you know and he was all uh it was it was purposely planned or oh, it's a it's a plan of the government who cares who, who planned it man it's prophecy the lord said it's going to happen it happened you know and pestilences all right, in 2020 there was an outbreak of um you know during the pandemic the pandemic but who cares who planned it man it was the lord at the end of the day who made it happen all right so we see these things happening and it's our job to come out here and watch for these people i mean i'm sorry and watch for these prophecies and tell the people what's to come all right um going back to the revelations oh. Three. Uh, Revelation three and three. Remember therefore how how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If there 
And therefore, thou shalt not watch. I will come upon thee as a thief. So if you're not watching for these prophecies, the Lord's going to overtake you. If you're out partying and being distracted, you know, you're not watching, you're not up, up to date with what's going on in the world. And then you can link it with the scriptures or listen to the prophets so they can link it to the scriptures for you. All right. The, the Lord is going to come upon you as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. All right. So with that, let me go to Thessalonians. It's a couple of them I want to get, actually. Yeah. Give me one moment. Okay, I'm back. All right. It's a couple of them I want to get. Put them down. Thessalonians is definitely the first one. Start at 1. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right, so it comes as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, see, that's what the people are saying, man. You have a large influx of people on social media that's getting a lot of money, and that's because them, that's causing them to become blind. They're not going to hear the words of the Lord. They're saying peace and safety. All right, even even the ones that are that, that don't have any money, all right, there's something that's going to come down the pipe. Whereas um, it's the RFID, you know, just Google RFID, you know, to see it. You know, they're going to say peace and safety because it's going to be the solution to their problems. All right. That after they say peace and safety, then it says, then, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. It's a sudden destruction, man. That's when they're going to be destroyed because they trusted in and they trusted not in the Lord. They trusted in everything else but the Lord. Then they're going to be in a uh, in terrible case. And like a woman with like a woman with a child. She doesn't know when those cramps are going to come. You know, those uh, contractions are going to come. All she know is, you know, she don't, she don't know. She has got to go through it and they should not escape. All right. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness. So we can see the light. We can see the when the Lord come. We can prepare, you know, prayer and fasting and reading and studying and giving time to the Lord, man. And also warning the people to wash the blood off our hands, which I'll get that next. It says that the day that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of the light. And the children of the day, we are not of the, the night nor the darkness. All right. So we are not of the light nor the darkness, man. You know, we, we see for the rest of the people who do not see. OK. Um, Second Peter 3 and 10. Second Peter 3 and 10. Uh, verse 9, I'll start at 9, Second Peter 3 and 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come into repentance. All right, so the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, because uh, you have certain people in this world has been, that has been saying the Lord ain't coming back. They've been talking about the, the end days since I was, a, since my grandmother was alive, since my grandmother was my age, since my grandmother, my grandfather was a child. So these people are fully said in these people that the Lord ain't coming back. They think it's a myth, man. All right. So the Lord ain't slack. They count the Lord's slackness as some men count slackness, but is long suffering towards us. Because the Lord said what back in Revelation three, it said, uh, uh, for I've now found that works perfect with Yahweh. So we have to, uh, the Lord's given us long, the Lord's long suffering towards us, you know, giving us, giving us time to work on ourselves. To prepare, all right, not willing that any should perish, any of the elect, but that all should come to repentance, because there, there's none of the elect that's going to perish. Verse 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up, all right, and that's talking about the, the, uh, the destruction, 
that with the IC, via the ICBM nuclear missiles, the Lord is going to destroy this the Babylon the Great with ICBM nuclear missiles, man. That's another lesson for another time. All right, so moving on, I'm going to get one more of uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 20. I look 12 and 39. That's a good one. Bear with me for a moment. Uh, Luke 12 and 39. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broke into. But ye therefore ready, uh, but ye therefore ready also for the Son of Man cometh in an hour when ye think not. See, now this is the point. That's, that's what I meant to get. Because um, the Lord is coming like a thief in the night. He, if he had known the Lord had came, this is the whole point of watching. One of the aspects of watching so we can know and warn the people. But um, that's my time and I have to, uh, I'll, I'll make a part two of this, given the importance of why we have to warn the people, why we have to go out there on the highways and byways and warn the rest of the, we have to warn the whole world, man. The scripture said that the, uh, this word should be preached about the four corners of the earth. All right. Until the, uh, then the end shall come. But until the um, I got the point. The point is the Lord is coming like a thief in the night. And if you don't watch, he's going to take you, you know, in, in a destruction. But if you watch, you know, you are children of, the, children of the light. And he suffered none to be destroyed. All right. So next time, Lord, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha, Kodash.